Here's how to upload photos to your iCloud. Now, if your phone is running out of space and you need to move some of those photos over to your iCloud, or maybe you just want a backup so that all of your photos on your iPhone are not only on your iPhone, there's also a backup on the cloud. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's hop into your settings and you're gonna tap on your name at the very top. Now you can see midway down is iCloud. Let's tap on that. And the first thing to look for is at the very top, you need to make sure that you have enough space to upload those photos and videos to your iCloud. So if you don't have enough space, let's tap the manage account storage. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna to have to hit this change storage plan and you might need to upgrade to a paid for version. You can see 50 gigabytes is only 99 cents per month. So you might need to upgrade so that you can move all of your photos or at least make a copy of all your photos and put them on your iCloud. So after you do that, let's go back and back and we will tap on photos. Now, the key here is you can see sync this iPhone has to be turned on. This will basically take all of your photos and videos, everything in your photo gallery from your iPhone, and it will bring it into the iCloud to make a copy of it. Now, if your goal is to reduce the storage on your phone, if you're running out of space, the key here is to, if you go down a little bit, you can see optimize iPhone storage. Now, if I hit this download and keep originals, what it will do is it will download full resolutions on my phone and also keep a full resolution on the iCloud. However, if I do optimize iPhone storage, basically if I'm running out of space on my iPhone, it'll start only keeping a small thumbnail on my phone itself and then it'll keep the full resolution on iCloud. So you can go down and make sure you toggle on the shared albums if you also want those shared albums on there. And you can see it's managed storage, 83 gigabytes, 21,000 uh, photos and 362 videos. So if you wanted to move all of those over there, just make sure that's toggled on. And then I recommend doing the optimized iPhone storage. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.